Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Tower of God episode number 30. This is like season finale and uh, like if you guys are confused like why I like I'm like doing it today because like I re reacted to this episode number 12 in a few days ago like two or three days. I usually like put it one week uh, on like uh, in an interval of one week. So the reason is that uh, like if I release uh, like if I like react to the episode number 13 on Friday which is on the next week it will kind of like uh, what can I say interfere with some of the other shows that I'm going to react to start reacting to uh, like in fall 2020 so that is the reason why I thought that let me just put it out today because Sword Art Online is already over and today is open the schedule is empty so I thought that I'll be putting it out a bit earlier because otherwise like my schedule will get messed up later on so yeah that is basically the reason and if you guys have not seen uh, my excuse me if you guys have not seen the uh, video which I posted that is like uh, the shows that I'm going to start and if you guys are interested in uh, li like watching my reactions to the shows that I'm going to start uh, be sure to check that video out that because I roughly talk about the uh, animes that I'm going to start four of them so yeah be sure to check that, that those out uh, that video as well if you're interested and so yeah without further ado we'll be starting this video and okay uh, in the previous episode uh, that was one of the most what can i say um like i was puzzled and flabbergasted I, like that like the thing that happened like not in my wildest dream did i expect something like that to happen at that time and I, a lot of questions are in my mind and I don't even know whether this episode will like answer each and every one of them so uh, yeah like uh, let's get started I'm quite uh, like I want to know what's like what just happened in the last episode and why it happened so yeah guys uh, let's get started okay I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three Two, one, go. All right, let's see if we can get some answers. <coughs> Finally. It's finally over, what? Wait, so like Rahul was planning on this from the beginning or something? What? Like I'm really confused. Why? It's calling me. <coughs> like from this we can, we're clearly like sure that Rahul did not want Yoru to climb the tower. Okay, so peak of my life, what? Oh my god. So So it was calling Yoru. Wait, what? Okay, so Oh, so like does he show like how Yoru clears it? Oh my god. 
like what the hell so she was there from the beginning wait what oh my god i like i was ready to give her a chance oh my god so he, he was talking to her oh god what the hell oh my god i think i'm going to not like this girl like in the previous episode i was still ready to give her a chance wait 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 Bring his life to close. I will allow. Oh my god, this girl is like, what can I say, whiny. Okay. Oh, alright, so she should have died at that time. Oh, so she really wanted to... Oh my god, I thought that they, she was talking about the other people. She's a bait. Okay, I'm a bit conflicted about this. Okay, so oh my. Yeah, like what is she going to do? Like leech of other people again? Like she came here leeching of people and she's going to continue that.
okay so don't misread the signs And here she dies and that bodyguards okay yeah obviously oh my god Oh my god Okay, so that is why she was crying. Oh my god. Like, in that episode, I was saying so many things about, like, how she, like, was feeling bad for everything. And now I have to see, like, these things. Like, what? Oh great, wow. Okay, she was like, <laughs> she's apologizing for whatever she's going to do. I thought that she was apologizing for the past, but wow. God damn. Wait, her like intentions are wavering.
my god, the jealousy. Oh my god, great. Well. That's friends and maker. God damn. Like she wants everything. Well, now you can become a star all alone. Well, great. Good choice. Yeah, now now have fun. Have fun being the lone star up in the sky. What else can I say? Now what are she, what is she going to do now? Like what are, what is she going to explain to others? Great. And now she's lying. <laughs> oh my god. Now the fun thing is, this is going to haunt her forever. Like, this is going to like... Destroy her every day, each and every day. Wait. <laughs> Oh my god, this guy. Okay, so like... Like this is Wow, oh my god, so like this was her plan all along. Great, great. Well, she'll get her, like, what can I say? She'll get what she deserves one day. Wow. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, what happened? Okay, like something else is going to happen now. Like, oh great. Like, they have some other plans. God damn, what the hell? Like, oh. Yeah, like in the first episode, she said something like that. Great. I'm waiting for Yoru's reaction. What, how is he going to react? Yeah, he'll have to climb again. Okay. Wow, great, amazing. N like, now she's the narrator. Who the hell is that? Was that at the end? Oh my god, okay. Like, in the previous episode, which was episode number 12, I was saying, like, uh, like whether like uh, if he has some kind of reason for pushing uh, Yoru down something like that and uh, Like I will not judge her unless and until I like get uh, Everything like in the like everything comes to light well this episode like answered like, almost like all of my questions and like What can I say like <laughs> Yeah, I don't like her <laughs> Yeah, I don't like her. Like, um, I I can't say that I hate her. Com like, like she, she was like an unfortunate type of like character. Like, like she was like ho a lot. So like, like I I can't say that I hate her. Like, hate is a strong word. Um, I hate people like Show Tucker. 
I hate people like uh, yeah Shota Kar and <laughs> and like definitely I can't put her on that level. So yeah, I dislike her immensely. I can say that. So like yeah, like whatever I thought in the previous episode. Okay, so that is the end. Whatever I thought in the previous episode that I thought like maybe she has some kind of unfortunate like something some kind of backstory like that is the reason why she did that but it turns out like she like, like wanted to be that special kid like she wanted to be a star twinkling around in the sky <laughs> and like that is one of the most disgusting reasons I've ever heard for like betraying someone like she wanted to be special so yeah you can become special now become special all alone in the vast sky twinkling <laughs> like twinkling by yourself like i hope like I, I hope he like she gets what she deserves later on and like, <laughs> like the way they ended this i'm sure like most of the people will switch to the manga now and yeah i'm also going to like start reading the manga like i really <laughs> i really want to like see her like getting what she deserves and uh, like yeah like i don't know like i was as i was saying like i was a bit confused like about how was she going to like go like she was leeching off yoru all the time so like i was thinking like how was she going to like go go further beyond well um the other people were convinced like yeah like uh, she, they were like treating rahel like some kind of a lost child or a person who has died his or her child is left and so we have to take care of them something like that like yeah i should have seen that coming like she's going to like leech of the people whom uh, who liked like who were yoru's friends obviously because yoru kept her at a high pedestal they are also like going to pick her up and continue the journey because of that and i'm sure like kun uh what can i say kun um suspects something or like like suspects her of something like uh, doing something to yoru or something like that so i'm sure like sooner or later the truth will like come to light and i don't know what like she's going to do then like is she going to like switch party and like <laughs> like betray other people as well and then like switch the boat and leech off some other people as well until and unless like she like she repeat this process over and over again kicking people down switching boats and leeching off other people and um like going to the top like what can i say like <clears throat> this is like a disgusting type of behavior like this is not as like disgusting like uh like killing someone or like those are evil but this is disgusting like what can i say like there's a thing like <coughs> like when you uh, like i've heard this before like this is like some kind of <coughs> a saying from something that if you like punch someone like you hurt your hand uh, as well as hurting the other people so like if you punch someone you get hurt yourself as well but if you like backstab someone or like uh, say something uh, like hurt someone by words the person who gets hurt is only the other person so like this is like a like disgusting type of behavior and like i've seen a lot of anime but i don't think something like this has ever happened before as far as i can uh, remember like this type of like things happening has never happened here like anime is usually like straightforward a person is either a bad guy or a good guy or a bad guy might be like some kind of like an anti-hero or something like that there are like uh, exceptions like these as well and there are definitely like um people who like do bad things or like who has done a lot of bad things and who are like um, has been branded by that stamp that yeah this guy is like the evil evil incarnate but like in, like in this case like <laughs> The thing that Rahel did was not evil, but disgusting type of like what can I say, like betraying a trust and like stomping upon the person who like gave everything for her. Like, 
I don't know like uh, I'm extremely conflicted about this <laughs> okay so yeah like uh, like I'd, I can't like there's nothing much to say about this episode this was like basically uh, they were like narrating the whole uh, season through Rahel's eyes and how Rahel saw the whole everything that happened and like the thing here is like Rahel like basically Rahel wanted to be special like special to everyone she wanted like people to fawn upon him, her she wanted people to like <coughs> what can i say uh, fuss about her like she, like basically she wanted to be a, some kind of a princess some kind of a god and like wanted people to be like uh, like look at her only like and at the beginning yoru was like the person for her like yoru gave her all the attention gave her everything and like she was uh, at that time she was like uh, content for that as well uh, for that uh, only but later on she thought like yeah i have a dream i'll uh, like climb the tower i want to see the stars but like funny enough like uh, ironically she didn't want to see the stars she like wanted to be a star so like uh, she and that time i think like uh, when hedon said that uh, you are not the person who was called so i think like was it supposed to be yodu like was yodu the person who was called so if that is the, like the thing like yodu was called there but rahel went there in his stead so like doesn't this make yodu like like doesn't this make rahel the irregular and yodu the regular one like or is it not like am i misunderstanding something like uh, a regular is someone who like comes from outside the tower and like who like uh, opens the towers get himself so but yoru okay like i'm talking about this thinking that yoru was the one who was called but in that might might also not be it like like they basically j just said that uh, like you were not the person who was supposed to come here so like by that i'm only like thinking that yeah perhaps yoru was the one who was supposed to go there which might not be true as well like there might be some some other underlying factors i don't know so yeah i'm like i'm not going to think about this much more like but uh, the main thing here is like rahel was like not called she like went there by some kind of mistake and like the like it's pathetic to see like when uh, hedon gave her a uh, trial like the first thing she started doing was fuss about it like yeah i can't do this how the hell am i supposed to kill the, like uh, uh, like do, do the trial like that is a huge monster what am i going to do like like she started like complaining like uh, like those like what can i say like uh, like immature people do like the people who have been pampered from the beginning like those people like uh, like she started in, uh, like what can i say say stuff like those <sighs> without even thinking of like yeah let me just try without even trying at least like she started like whining and saying stuff like those and then like head on like uh, uh, disguised her and like uh, kind of like, like camouflaged her and brought yoru in and yoru like won the trial he also didn't have anything like he went there and like he won the trial uh, he at least tried to do so and uh, he conquered her fear or whatever and uh, then after like they all go on their own way um rahel starts complaining again she starts saying that i don't have a weapon like how am i going to climb the tower and stuff like those like this is a behavior that disgusts me like if she at least tried and failed at doing so like that would be like a, at least a kind of like a positive thing about her but no i can't find like any positive thing about her like the only positive thing about her is like she at least took care of yoru but uh, that was also like kind of like her own selfish like what can i say uh, she wanted like like for her own sake like she helped yoru just because like uh, yoru fussed about her yoru like uh what can i say uh, yoru like took uh, like yeah that is the main reason like what why she like took care of yoru like she wanted people to look at her that was the only reason i think and uh, 
like later on when she sees that yeah like the one yodu who was like beneath me who like who always looked at me people are now looking at him so like i'm jealous and everything and stuff like those and yeah like i don't know like i'm feeling really like like this is like the ugly part of a human and i can say like rahel has this plenty like there like in every human there's ugly part a kind of like a selfishness envy jealousy um stuff like those but i think like <laughs> this part of rahel is a bit more than the other people have and that is what makes her like unlikable okay so like in the previous episode like there was a comment like <laughs> like said that uh, this is why like um all of the people started hating rahel at that time i'm also i was also like impartial i was thinking like yeah maybe like she had some kind of sad back story or something like that or oh, so like i'll not judge her before that oh my god like this episode like opened my eyes like yeah like even though like she is not comp- like like pure evil incarnate she is definitely like what can i say a bad type of character and like this is the first time i've seen this type of character and uh, like who is shameless like this is like shameless behavior and yeah so i really hope like and one thing i really hope is like yoru at least like sees like understands that yeah rahel was the one who betrayed me like like in most of the animes and most of the what can i say um like shows like this even though like someone was betrayed uh, if he or she is the main character uh he like continues to believe in the person who betrayed him or her and later on like forgives him or her and uh, like everything as like went goes okay and like they like make up and uh, stuff like those like i i really don't know how i f- feel about that like i don't know how to feel if like something like that happens in this as well like if like ultimately like yoru forgives rahel and like says that yeah like you like like i forgive you for everything that you've done and something if something like that happens i i really don't know how should i feel with that because yeah like i think like uh, everyone should be given a second chance definitely so yeah like yeah i i think like sh- she should definitely be given a second chance like people can redeem themselves but like if she does not like what can i say like if she does not um improve then like then she like definitely deserves each and every head that people are giving her <laughs> and yeah like like this episode opened my eyes and i really hope that she gets some kind of punishment for whatever everything that she has done <clears throat> and yeah like yeah definitely like i i the thing that i want is like her getting punished for this and like not some kind of like little bit of punishment she gets quite a bit of punishment severely punished for this and she understands what she has done wrong and after that yoru can forgive her like then it will be okay but if like she goes caught free i really don't want that she definitely deserves some kind of like punishment and some kind of uh i think that she, like uh, there's a word like the, the, like you reap what you sow like she def- definitely deserves what she reaped uh and uh, so yeah if yoru forgives her after she gets punished and she uh, understands the wrong that she has done and she asks for forgiveness for that <laughs> then i think okay then that is okay but otherwise no no nope, she like <laughs> like no i i can't forgive her otherwise anyways so yeah that was this episode so yeah i think like i don't know like the way they ended the episode i think like they'll be make like they'll make a second season because like uh in the end we kind of like saw a backside of person like who like was standing like and he had like long type of hair like who was that like was that yoru from the future or something like was they like giving a small snippet of what will happen to yoru later on like how he he look and all i don't know 
must uh, like i don't know like uh, this kind of like uh, indicates like there might be a second season coming so yeah but <laughs> like i mean yeah i'll be starting the manga so i don't know <laughs> i'll probably like when the second season comes out i'll probably know a lot of more things than like uh, what's happening and yeah okay guys so now for the i like a short little review i'm going to give this um the tower of god um yeah so i have to say like i enjoyed this quite a bit like obviously like this uh i've heard that uh tower of god the, like the anime adaptation probably like skips a lot of parts are like uh, kind of like rushed and like people were, i think like people were kind of mad about that as well but uh obviously because i've definitely i've not read the manga uh, I can't understand that portion, but the like uh, the things that I saw and everything, uh, I enjoyed myself quite a bit. And uh, this was definitely like uh, a show that I'll be like checking out if a second season comes out. And obviously, like I'm going to check out the manga before that. Uh, like I really want to know what will happen next. So yeah, and uh, okay, so like the the about the review or the rating that I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to talk about this uh, like show like for the like for the full show and that is like um number one uh the story <coughs> excuse me <coughs> the story it has a very unique story like um yeah it has a very unique story and like i'm not talking unique about the sense like uh, the climbing of the tower thing like this thing has already been happened for in sao and all but like uh, I'm uh, unique. I'm. I mean, the thing that I'm uh, saying about unique is that, like the plot and everything, like the climbing the tower thing. This has already been done. Like this is definitely not unique. Like uh, in Sao and I think uh, many other shows as well. But the like like the characters and um, the plot, the story, the like different type of uh, like things that are happening. The lore of the whole like show and. Uh, different types of happenings that are happening uh, like that happen in the show and all and like the kind of like uh test kind of thing like you have to like pass the test pass trials to like uh go up and like there are like uh people who like uh <coughs> grade, grade you and judge you on basis of your uh, like uh, talent and basis of like you're climbing the tower your power and stuff like those like this is um yeah this is definitely unique and the characters are like I'm also including the characters as well here as well. Like the characters are unique as well. Like for example, each and every character here uh, is like what can I say? Unique in their own way. Um, for example, uh, Rak. Uh, like he is uh, like a friendly alligator who who like uh, not a friendly alligator. Uh, let me uh, say this in a more better way. A Sundra alligator. <laughs> like <laughs> before we have seen a sundra dragon in slime and the, here we see a sundra alligator like <laughs> like i really enjoyed rag rag was like one of the best characters in this show and kun like he is more like what can i say i in the first episode i never like thought in my like i never thought that kun would like make such a bond with yoru like uh, never did i think like something like this is going to happen and like i was really surprised at the strength of the bond that they made in like quite a few episodes so like the way like uh, he like, was like always behind yoru always uh, like helping yoru uh, without like any kind of uh, like payment like he was like selflessly doing each and everything for yoru and like here is like the main contrast between rahel and um kun like like they are like both kind of like a main portion of Yoru's life, but Rahel like did everything wanting like uh, expecting a payment. Like she wanted a payment. She wanted people to look at her, and uh, she want expected Yoru to look at her as well for like helping him. But in the other side, in the other uh, like portion of the coin, like in the flip side of the coin, Kun like she, he wanted like all the good for Yoru without any payment like she he did each and everything selflessly just because yoru demanded me uh, him of uh, his own story like like this is like the contrast here so like yeah so kun here and all the other different type of characters for example anak um, and orsi and like the, the the weapon series as well like uh, after seeing black match i'm really interested about the other weapons as well 
so like all of these things and uh, uh, yuri who we barely got to see and uh, so many like uh, unique type of characters and um, what else uh, the animation and the art style was quite unique as well i liked it like i i like uh, i kind of warmed up to the art style it was like quite nice seeing our art style like this like it uh, like it looked like like some kind of like a hand drawn art style uh, not hand drawn like um, a watercolored art style like something like that it was really nice and um, animations were were good as well um, nothing like spectacular but it was uh, like okay and uh, the mm, what kind of the osts and the music were nice as well but um yeah the main thing was like the uniqueness of each and every th characters and each and everything that was like the main uh, kind of focus of this uh yeah uh story and obviously the last um plot twist i can say yeah obviously it's a plot plot twist and uh, the last thing that happened that kind of like uh <laughs> like what can i say it like like pumped up the rating of this show definitely and uh, yeah like like this show made me surprised like i was not expecting what happened at the end at all and like after the deed happened as well i was thinking like maybe there was something else like some kind of backstory or, or not but it proved me wrong again and turns out that rahel really was some kind of a petty type of human being and uh, like she was selfish and she was had like like did everything for like uh, wanted like uh, people to look at her her uh, like stuff like those like those kind of uh, ugly side of like the human behavior she like portrayed in full fledged like she just like <laughs> went there and like <laughs> did all this stuff just for like being the only person who like everyone will look at and stuff like that so yeah like like that was like that i like, really like bumped up the sh score because it was like an un unexpected uh thing that happened in the end so yeah that was the, that and like uh if i was like probably like a manga reader or something i would probably like uh, deduct some points for if like the show really cut some corners or like the adaptation was not as good as the manga i would definitely like to deduct some scores but because i like i have never read the manga i'm not doing that and i'm not basing my score on that so the final rating of uh, tower of god is um an 8.5 out of 10 like i would have given it an 8 out of 10 but because of the last thing that happened like the rahel business all and like this episode as well uh, like it explained each and everything quite like nicely and shortly briefly um, i'm giving it a point for uh, score more because of that uh, and because it like made me interested in what's going to happen next so that is definitely a plus point and so an 8.5 out of 10 So yeah that was my like, short little short little review or a rating type of thing for Tower of God. So yeah. So yeah guys and uh, that was episode number 13. This was the season finale of Tower of God. So yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel you haven't subscribed that helps a lot. And uh, be sure to comment down below anything you want to share anything you want to say and uh, I'll be sure to check them out. And uh, So yeah guys thank you for guys for watching and thank you uh, for like uh, watching the reaction from uh, people who are like uh, have stayed throughout my whole like what can i say um reaction and like all the 13 episodes thanks a lot for like uh, giving your support and uh, yes i'll be like uh, obviously like replacing this with another show uh, if you guys want to know which shows i'm replacing with which be sure to check the video out that i have like posted before so if you guys are interested so yeah guys uh, i'll be back with a new video so until then goodbye and have a nice day